Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm actually filming on my vlog camera just so I can like show you guys the items a little closer up and just talk about them and it's just more casual. So I hope that's okay. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications as well as follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me. So today's video, I'm going to show you all of my luxury designer handbags and I do have a few others that are designer, but I wouldn't put them in the luxury category. So these are kind of just like a little bit over the coach contemporary luxury category, which I know the categories can be kind of weird, but if you search up online like luxury categories, like there's this pyramid and then there's different tiers. So like obviously like Hermes is one of the topper tiers of the luxury chain. And actually to be honest, like Louis Vuitton's kind of towards the bottom, which is kind of crazy to think. Before we get into the bags, I kind of just want to say and preface this by saying I'm not trying to brag in any type of way. This is just a fun video and honestly, I know you guys probably spend your money on some stupid shit and this is where I decide to put my money. So it is totally fine if you disagree or don't see the point in buying like a bag like this because there is no real good reason to buy a bag like this. Um, it's honestly just a personal hobby interest. I mean, I haven't spent one ounce or one penny on a video game. I don't spend, I used to never spend money on makeup. I barely shop for clothes, which this is new. And I'm like, wow, these are just where I like to put my money when I save up and it's just super fun. So, um, I don't travel a whole lot as you guys know, like I don't go out of the state that often, pretty much a homebody. I do love to travel, but like, again, if I'm going to spend my money, it's probably going to be on a designer item cause I like it. So, um, don't take this video too seriously. Take it for what it is. And I guess, Let's continue on. So starting off the ever famous Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I love this thing so much. I use it every day pretty much uh, for work and it's kind of just like a go-to bag. I have been debating getting the Marc Jacobs the tote bag, but I just haven't because this little baby always pulls through. It was extremely expensive. I'm gonna use it because I paid for it. So uh, no other tote bag is going to be used for every day for a very, very long time because I have this bag and it's perfect. It fits everything. Um, I did a what's in my bag with this a, a little bit ago. I just use it as a bucket bag. I don't have an organizer because I like the slouchy, sloppy kind of look, even though it's still like has really good structure. Um, I like it to kind of like hang and be like collapsible, I guess. So this is in the Damier Avene print. It's the darker checkered print. The main reason why I got this was because I like the treated leather. I didn't want to get a Vachetta leather never full because I bought one secondhand and it was a beautiful bag. Um, and I highly recommend going to the pre-loved market because there's just, there's some amazing bags there, but I got a pre-loved never full PM. So the smaller size and the Vachetta was already pretty worn in, which I love, but the straps were honestly like so dirty. Um, that was my doing. They came to me like pretty fine, not that big of a deal. But I will say like, that's why when I knew I was gonna get the MM size for like an everyday tote, I needed treated leather. Um, and then the inside, obviously you can see it's a pink color. So this is the Rose Ballerine interior. And again, I know it's way too much money for a canvas bag, but so worth it. I absolutely love this. And it's just kind of like a staple to have. Um, if you're gonna get any designer bag, like. I say get this one because you get a good bang for your buck, especially with the price increase. So yeah. And then I just have my little fluff ball on here. I think we got this at Bloomingdale's when I was like shopping for either like a homecoming dress or something. I don't know. But this is my first bag I wanted to share with you guys. Next up to go along with the tote, I have this little pochette. And as you guys know, this comes with the never full bags. So just inside it has an opening here, the pink interior, one little pocket. 
You'd be surprised how much this fits. I think it's crazy, but perfect for a night out. You just want to put this around your wrist and just like carry it if you're going to like a Broadway show or just like the movies or something. Really convenient to have. I love this thing so much, but I don't use it as much as my Neverfull. This is a side note and kind of like fun fact, but the, I don't know why I'm blanking out on this name, but the little code on the inside here, if you can see that tag, you can't really see it. You can kind of see it. That little code is the authentication, like when it was made, where it was made, what date it was made. I can't believe I'm blanking on the name. It's so frustrating, but the pouch matches the bag. That's one way you can check to see if something's authentic or not when they are, get sold together. Just check that. Um, I actually got this with the bag in store. It was my first ever in store purchase and it was amazing. I didn't really need to check that, but if you are, getting these two things secondhand or whatever just check to see if that matches also another little fun fact is most people when they get the neverfull they don't really want the pouch so they sell the pouch online and this costs as much as a bag that's kind of why i'm including it in this like bag collection because it is its own entity so this is probably going for 600 to 800 dollars just for this little thing. So if you don't really use it at all and you wanna get rid of it, I would suggest selling it. Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton favorite. This is a favorite of mine. And honestly, it was so sad because I was debating on selling this, but because they discontinued the style, I will not be selling this bag because to get your hands on one of these, like I don't know how much you would actually have to put out, but I love this bag. It's so versatile. I haven't used her in a hot minute, but I kind of just use her as a shoulder bag, but you can use this crossbody strap and this is Vachetta untreated leather, um, which is really cool. I love this. It has the little loopy here, as you guys can see, you can see like the loop and then you can see the little clasp here, just like your normal standard Louis Vuitton look pretty much with the clasp. So this is the crossbody part because it attaches to the ends, but you could have it be a shoulder bag. Just, you could wear it over your arm like this. You could even put this over here and like use it as like a wristlet, kind of like that other wristlet I was sharing with you guys. Or you could literally just like tuck this entire chain in the bag and carry it just like this. But because this is so versatile, because this can actually fit so much, I'm not going to be getting rid of it because I love it so much. It is a favorite. They probably call it that for a reason. Yeah, the Louis Vuitton favorite, definitely a favorite. And there's little things that you can tell like if this is authentic or not. By the way, if you wear jeans, it the back will turn blue just so you know um but as you could tell and as you probably know this is in the damier azure print and it just has the tan interior i'm also keeping this too this is like not a very important part um of the video but the reason why i'm keeping this and decided definitely not to sell it number one because it's discontinued like i said and number two this is the only Damier Azure print thing I have. So like, it's nice to have like, as you guys will see, like all three prints. Um, and this is like a crossbody, So it's a different style than just like a tote bag. So a little different there, which I love. Next up is my Louis Vuitton mini Palm Springs backpack. And guys, I think this is my favorite thing out of my entire collection because it's so cute. It's so tiny. It fits a ton. It can fit this camera that I'm filming on right now. Um, it can fit entire water bottle. It's just amazing and it's a backpack. So I love the tiny little thin straps. I like the gold detailing. I like the monogram print with the LVs. Just the whole design of this bag, I just love so much. This is also my most expensive piece, which is kind of crazy. Like you would think the bigger bag would be more expensive. 
but I think this takes like more to be crafted or something. Um, but this is absolutely like my child. I love it so much. This was like definitely an impulse buy because I was on the lookout for it for so long and I wanted to get it new. When I saw it in stock, I immediately clicked a buy and the rest was history. So I got this around 2019, like the end or yeah, the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. So this has been with me through the pandemic. She's just been through it all with me <laughs> at this rate. I love this. I don't know if they still have it. I think they do. I haven't heard that they've discontinued this one. But again, I'm going to bring up the print. This is my only monogram piece. So all of my pieces I feel like are really different and they serve different purposes, which I use in different situations, which I'm happy about. Also, the way I went about purchasing all of these, these three items has been different too. I ordered this one online. My Louis Vuitton favorite was from the pre-loved market. I got it on a Facebook group, which is, I think it was like Louis Vuitton addicted or something. And the seller, her name was Stephanie. She was like really cool to work with. She packaged this so well. And she like answered all my questions. Um, and then last but not least, like the tote, like I told you guys, I purchased that in store and that was like my first in store purchase, which was really cool. So each of the experiences that I've had with these bags has been different, which I like, and they all are super different. So, you know, I don't want a bag, like if I had two Neverfulls, like that would be hard because you're putting so much money, like, I mean, unless you change out your bags really frequently. I don't know if you guys would consider this a bag, probably not, but I'm going to include it here because it is like a luxury thing that I use every day and it's kind of like a bag because it holds things. So it is my Gucci little wallet. It's like a keychain wallet. Maybe they call it a card holder, but it has obviously the gold hardware. You can just unzip it like that. All my cards fit perfectly in there. And it's just the traditional Gucci print with the G's that I think look like bows to be honest. But I wanted to include this to share it with you guys. I do have a few other luxury things, but they're not definitely not in like the bag category. So these are my children that I love so much. And I use pretty much on a daily basis if the occasion is right. And um, my other bags actually don't get used a lot because I use the bags I just showed you so much. And the reason why I use them so much is because I pay a lot for them. So that's why I typically don't buy other types of bags. If I'm gonna buy a bag, I love luxury. So I don't know, the next bag I really want is a Gucci one, like the Gucci Soho Disco. But right now, just not the time and um, all of these fit all of my needs and I love them. So I don't see any like really like I need this or that. I think that is going to be about it for my luxury bag collection. Leave in the comments down below your dream bag and why. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.